and welcome along. This is Island, and uh, and this is our second episode on the map. And one thing I asked you guys last time uh, we were on here, last time for our first episode, was what tractor do you want to us to have next for our second sort of medium-sized tractor? And overwhelmingly, over half of you voted for this. So this is the class uh, uh, Atlas uh, 946RZ. It's a 250 horsepower tractor. Um, and so, yeah, this is our second tractor we've got on the farm. Uh, and we're going to be hooking this up today to this Massey Ferguson 2270XD uh, baler. Uh, and we're going to go and bale our field because our combine uh, is, uh, is still working. So before we jump into this... Uh, let's just jump back across to here. I'm going to jump into our Massey and, uh, and just empty this. Uh, and so while this is still going, while this machine is still working over here, we are going to go and um, we're going to go and bale the main part of the field. Uh, we need to do that because we are in a position uh, where really this is uh, the combine just keeps going and, uh, and keeps sorting this. Uh, and it keeps going more. So we're going to leave the headland for now as far as the bailing goes. But we are going to get the uh, the main thing sorted. So I'll get this emptied and uh, and then we'll get the baler down to the field. We're approaching the field now in our class. Uh, we've emptied the combine and actually gone and sent the Massey to tip. Which is why it's not currently here. Uh, we are going to get working on the main body of the field. So the non-headland parts of the field. Uh, so that would be starting here. So unfold our baler. Uh, and I said last episode, we're going to be using mainly Massey equipment on here. Now a lot of people have pointed out that there are several other brands in uh, that are that are popular in uh, Ireland. Um, the main ones, of course, being John Deere uh, and New Holland. Uh, a couple of people were suggesting that uh, Case is something that used, although the, my my research suggests that Case was was a lesser brand compared to the main ones. But we're certainly looking to represent uh, the other the other mainly used or main use uh, brands in Ireland. Uh, we, we are going to be having a John Deere on here. We are going to be having a New Holland. Uh, I have plans for both. Uh, and we will see what, what we have and what, uh, what those are uh, as time progresses. Uh, but certainly my research seems to suggest that uh, although it was by a little bit, Massey Ferguson is the brand that is most purchased. Uh, in Ireland, so uh, yeah, that's that's why we've gone a bit heavier on the Massey here. We are going to be using several. Uh, we are going to be using several different brands for the tractors, uh, but yeah, the equipment we're going to go mainly on the Massey side. And we've got our first bailout, which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we should get a good number of bales out of here. Uh, we're going to be using an auto stacker. Uh, to fill our shed uh, with these, uh, I think an auto stacker is a great way for us to uh, to get bales quickly off the field. And I'm actually enjoying how quickly this class is doing this work, uh, really, really nicely. Now, one of the other things that I did get lots of suggestions for, and I realise I haven't done while I when I started recording this video. Uh, is uh, a request to switch from pounds to euros and miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Now, I don't know if it's something that we can do in game. Uh, no, looks like it's not something we can actually change in here. So, uh, oh no, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, money unit we can change to euros and... Uh, miles we can change to kilometers and that makes it a bit more accurate uh to island so yeah there we go euros and uh and kilometers for those of you who requested it last time uh we will see if we can keep that going here because uh, obviously uh it's unfortunate you can't set those 
options per uh, per save game. That would be really, really useful. Uh, so I'm going to be switching between them as I do various uh, various series. Then as a result, uh, but it'll get me good for you know I should be using dollars on American maps and things like that. So I'm going to continue doing this for a bit, get some more bales punched out. Uh, we are going to have to empty the combine soon, so I'm going to get my tractor and trailer back. Uh, and we're going to be doing some animal stuff. We need to get, I want to start getting the animals in. Uh, I think starting with the horses. But we are going to have to get some hay created fairly quickly to get them fed. So uh, yeah, uh, lots still to do. Combine is getting a bit full now, so I have brought our Massey, uh, what, uh, 70, yeah, 77.22 back. Uh, we're going to empty this out. Uh, well, another couple of comments uh, addressed from last time. Uh, I've dropped the front weight off because, as somebody pointed out, uh, quite correctly, uh, it would not need it for this trailer. Uh, the other thing is, um, I believe this trailer is pronounced... Brochan, uh, as in almost, almost as in broken, but Brochan, um, which I've been uh, mispronouncing quite a bit for quite a while. So I hope my pronunciation during this video has uh, has been a lot better for you guys, <laughs> and uh, and a little more accurate, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully has rectified that. Um, Combine is ready, uh, is going to be emptying, so we'll we'll basically we'll empty this and we will go and tip this because basically the combine fills this trailer each time, uh, and then uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on with some more of the baling. Combine is coming to the end of the field now. I actually left the tractor and trailer out here uh, because there was it was only about eighty percent full. Uh, there's a distinct possibility that, yeah, in fact, what is sitting in the combine is going to fit in the remainder of the trailer. So there was no need to do that run back. Uh, we are over halfway through the baling at this point, uh, which is also great. Uh, we're getting a good number of bales off here. How many bales do we have so far is, uh, is something that I'm really wondering at the moment. 26 bales off here so far. So then we're going to end up with maybe with 50 or so bales, uh, which will be brilliant. That'll get us off to a good start. Uh, I think the plan for the bales will be to maybe keep our first uh, auto stacker full and uh, and then sell the rest, maybe. We Actually, no, to be honest, we don't need the money at the moment. Uh, we're not desperate for the cash. We're, we've still got over two and a half million. Uh, so yeah, we will store all the bales for now. We're going to be doing a lot of animal work on this map, so I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to find myself short of straw bales uh, when I come to do that. Now it looks like the combine is finished, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to halt my baling for a bit, go and tip this, and uh, and I'll come back with you guys once we are well into our headlands. We've emptied the combine, and yeah, as I thought. 97% really good yield off this field though we have hit uh, we've done three full trailers pretty much I mean we're, we're only just shy so we've got we got at least 60,000 liters of wheat off here uh, we're gonna have to get something though to load them up uh, we want to we want to get a lorry we want to get a lorry that we can uh, sell crops with so we're gonna be getting a, a lorry in a trailer uh, but we're also going to have to get something to load these crops off the floor with as well. I do, as I said last time, want to get a grain store. I didn't... The, the one we installed, I didn't like. And uh, need to sort of remedy that. Uh, but the problem i got at the moment is we don't have a lot of space in this yard to do stuff. Uh, you, know, you know, to place stuff. So uh, I need to try and sort that out. I was hoping uh, one or other of these buildings was going to be removable so that I could do it. But so far, I've not found that to be the case on any of them. Right, let's tip this up in here. There we go. That is now tipping. And 
and we can leave this tractor here because it's uh, it's not needed back on the field. I think we can get this pile right. This is the only thing about the tip anywhere. It just sort of stops. There we go. Even though that is exactly not what would happen in real life, really. There we go. Right, so that is all tipped. We are going to start this up again, get this going, and, uh, and yeah, we'll come back once we have, uh, once we're most of the way there. On the last row now, and uh, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this class mod. This is really, really quite nice. The extra camera that you just saw there, that's throwing me off a little bit. But this is a lovely mod. Really, really nice to use. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. I found this on uh, Yes Mods, uh, which is my new, uh, is my current mod site of choice. They're really, really good, and they test their mods, or well, they test the mods they list. Which, while it doesn't pick up everything, uh, at least means you're wading through a lot less rubbish than you normally do on uh, external mod sites. But there we go, that is all done. Let's unload those last couple of bales. So there's one, there's two, not much uh, straw in here. Uh, but we're gonna go and return this to our yard. I think the next thing we're gonna go and do is go and get ourselves a bale stacker uh, and try and work out which barn, I think, I know which barn we're gonna put the stuff in I just want to make sure we've got enough height with the bale stacker in order to do it. And then we might also put a safety bumper on uh, the front of this if we're going to be using the auto stacker on it. Just in case we bump any uh, any bales at all. Now there's a shed there uh, which would make a good bale shed. But I think it's a little low. And then they've got the sheds over here which might be, a, might be high enough. So uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. We'll see if uh, we'll see if we can stack bales here. If not, we'll have to stack them in the yard and then restack them when we get a piece of kit that is capable of doing that. But now let's drop off our baler here, and we're going to head back up to the shop. We've made it back down to the shop. I'm just going to pull over here to the purchase point. There we go. And pop into the shop here. Now I'm looking to get failing technology here. Uh, we haven't really used the Stack Pro that much. We've used uh, we've used the other bits from the Anderson DLC, but never really used the Stack Pro. Eighty nine thousand, I think, is good. Uh, where's our the Arcusen is seventy thousand, holds sixteen bales. Uh, this holds uh this also holds 16 bales should do us fine though uh the alternative is one of these but these are these are auto stackers and i'm kind of avoiding that uh, and the other one is the the Brighton where we could do it um ourselves but i think i think the stack pro is a good choice here uh so there we go uh i'm kind of going for slightly different wheel brands at the moment we're going to go with the michelins on it and uh, and yeah that's perfect so ninety thousand for that so we'll buy that that is going to be very useful to us there it is over there so we'll jump back into this oh and the other thing we were going to buy was the safety bumper so, uh, again, let's just pop into the shop. And this is under weights. And I think we have a safety bumper in here somewhere. There we go. So, safety bumper, safety bumper weight. We only need the safety bumper. Uh, it's basically just to make sure that uh, we don't have any big issues. Can we grab... Deutz Far Green might be a good design colour. We don't have a, a class green. And that is probably the closest... Uh, so the green and grey, yeah, that is pretty much perfect. So we'll buy a safety bumper as well. And that way, if we have to nudge any bales out of the way, uh, we can do. I don't think our green is going to be quite right. Uh, as 
as I said, we don't really have a class green. Yeah, the Deutz, the Deutz green is slightly greener. But uh, it will do. I quite like the look of that. I think those are movable, if I remember correctly. Does have a little bit of an, uh, an oddity as to exactly where it's marked as being connected uh, at the top, I've noticed. Uh, but yeah, this should do perfect. So we'll get this back down to the field and we'll start collecting up bales. Uh, only 16 bales, so it's going to take a few runs to get all of these bales done. We've returned to the field again and we're going to take out the bales on the headland first. So let's unfold our baler. And this is, this is where our safety bumper comes into play. Nudge that. And then we can just pick it up like this. So 16 bales, I think we've made, did we make 50 bales? Uh, 59 bales, so uh, yes, uh, nearly 60 bales off here. Whoa, safety bumper not really working as well as a, a, a proper bale bumper. So uh, yeah, we want to kind of avoid doing that, I think. I'm sort of winding my way through these bales that aren't quite in the right setting or the quite or quite the right orientation for me to pick up now getting all the ones off the headland first uh, will mean that we are much more uh, easily able to do the rest of the field uh, just thinking 32 it is going to be uh, about four runs because uh, yeah 32 Two would be 32, uh, three would be 48, so it's 16 the thing, uh, and we've got, yeah, we've got 59 bales, so uh, it's, it's going to be four runs, so let's get the first of this run done, and then we'll go and see if we can actually get these stored in the barn, and if so, we will quickly get the, la the remaining three runs done. One more bale. Lined up, and there we go. That is 16 bales, so we are now full. Let's fold our arm back in and get this back to the farm. And hopefully, we can get this in one of our sheds. Uh, yeah, as I said, I've got a couple of ideas of where I want to put these, uh, but I'm just hoping that they're going to be. Uh, if this isn't going to be so tall that it won't be able to do it. Back in the yard, and I don't think, ah, my, I kind of want to put it in that, so I can either put it in these sheds over here, or this shed here, this shed here, really looks like a bale shed, I don't know how stable they will be in here though, it's my only worry, and putting, uh, Putting two stacks side by side is going to be interesting in here. Well, that actually should be too bad. Right, let's get it into this back section. Yeah, it's a little bit of a funny angle. But it has worked. Oh, I think. trailer because I've not got my tractor straight when I did this I've managed to get the trailer to push this round oh that's not great can we push that back that is not the most stable thing in the world but it seems to have worked Ah, uh, those, those are going to go over. So I'm thinking, whoa, not paying attention to my trailer. So while I can unfold my trailer in there, uh, I need to fold it back down before I go any further. And keep an eye on that. Hey, there we are. So yeah, I don't think that is the best place for us to, uh, to be doing this. Uh, I think we might put it somewhere and, and get these ones moved. There we go. That's folded in. So yeah, certainly the way to go, I think, is in the other sheds. So we'll put the uh, the subsequent ones in there, and uh, when we get 
something to handle the bales with, we will uh, we'll get those two stacks moved. Because I will be amazed if that stack has not fallen over uh, when we reload the map. So, uh, yeah, let's get 16 more bales and try again. Again, we're down to one more bale. And that's that lot. Uh, yeah, definitely looking at about half the field done at this point. And uh, should be able to get it fairly quickly back and into the shed. So as I said, we're gonna we're gonna do those two. Uh, we're gonna do one of those sheds at the back. See if we can get these into there without too much uh, fuss. Uh, we're gonna need somewhere to store hay bales, and um, we're gonna do when we do actually do silage. We'll do we'll do silage actual actual silage, not silage bales. Uh, so that should work better. Uh, so it is just really hay bales and straw bales we're storing. Uh, we won't store grass bales. And that is basically it. Because, yeah, you wouldn't store grass bales. Right, so around the corner. And I think we're going to have a much better time putting them into these sheds here. They're much flatter, uh, much more compliant. Uh, so we'll press it up. Get as close to this wall as possible. Because then we'll fit in as much as we can. Unload position. And we want to make sure that we are straight on it this time. Otherwise, we'll have the same problem as we had last time. That is good. I'm hoping this does not cause a problem with the roof. We'll find out any moment. So, undo it. Pull forward slowly. Okay. Ah! Problem with the roof. Whoa! We managed to not send that stack flying then. But yes, yeah, certainly, we cannot use this at the edge like that. So we need to leave some space, which is fine, because we really need to leave some space for the grab at the other side. So I'm going to get the uh, the last two stacks done, and that will be, uh, that will be it, I think. So uh, yeah, let's go collect those up, and... Uh, and see where we are at the end just three more bales to go now i believe and then that will be everything collected off here yeah that would be about right uh which is brilliant that means we are uh, we're in a really good place we have collected up all of our bales and uh and this field is now ready to be ploughed, I would guess. Let's have, let's have a look. No, we need to lime it and then plough it. So we'll be uh, trying to sort out the lime next time. This is uh, all done though. So yeah, need to lime this field. Uh, we also need to next time look at uh, getting our first two horses. And we may not move on to the next game day until we've done that. I want to do two horses a day, uh, and then once we get to 10 days, we should have it so that we're earning 100,000 a day from uh, just selling two horses and then bringing two new ones in. So lots to be doing. That hedgerow extends a little bit out, far out from that. Just sort of catch yourself on that. Right, back into our main yard. Which I do like the shape of this. Even if, even if I'm struggling to uh, find somewhere to place my uh, my grain store, I do like this yard very, very much. And this these actually are quite good sheds for what we're doing here. Push. 
this is where it gets fun because obviously I can't pull my trailer all the way out of the shed now but if I can get go straight back here that will work very nicely there we go unload that pull forward put our trailer down and, uh, and while that comes down that is where we're going to finish for today so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye